Is it possible that what's right isn't what you thought it was? That's the question our new feature film, Alley with Screaming, asks. Now, I wouldn't make a movie unless I thought it was important, unless I thought it had a chance at being great. I've been making short films ever since 1998, where I was lucky enough to win the Alberta Motion Picture Award for Best Student Work. And then I thought I'd try my hand at making a feature film. In 2008, we released The End, which did very well. It played in film festivals all over the world. It won us some awards, and it got a DVD distribution deal in the United States. But it still suffered from that lack of budget as it was funded primarily out of our own pockets. Find a nickel for every time someone asks me for a quarter. Yeah, you'd be rich. No, I'd be broke. Now, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that after years of struggling to finance my feature films, Telefilm has shown enough faith in our project to offer us two-thirds of the funding that we wanted for our movie. That's the bad news. They want us to hold the budget as it is, so we have a little bit of a hole in our budget. And that's where you come in. Ali Was Screaming is about Seth and Noli, two honorable men. Seth and Noli's friend has died, and she's left behind an unchecked winning lottery ticket. This takes them on an odyssey of surprising and challenging moral deliberation. But here the silver screen serves even more as a mirror, because you won't be able to watch this movie without asking yourself, what would I do in their shoes? What would my friends do? And is it possible? that what's right isn't what I thought it was. Now, with this new project, as we make the transition from DIY cinema like The End to the world of professional filmmaking, it comes with new challenges and new expenses. All you need to do is look at the closing credits of a motion picture to see how many people are involved and how much equipment, and that gets expensive. We are lucky enough to be under the guidance of our senior executive producer, Robert Cuffley with a successful writing and directing career of his own. As much confidence as I have in our team, we need someone else, and that's you. But I wouldn't ask you to do it unless I thought we could really make something that was important and make something that was great. Thank you.